I'm returning to the triadic screen for a moment so I can show you how to use this site to create the kind of variations you want. Now, as I mentioned, you can grab the black dot, which identifies the original red, and drag it to a new position on the wheel. And if you do that, everything follows you round, giving you a whole new combination. If you grab one of the other dots, they can be dragged closer together, making them even more similar to each other, or further apart. Each time the dots are moved, the colors in the palette on the right change to reflect your new choices. Now this works for the other icon choices as well. For example, if you select the fifth icon, Analogic, the original three colors can be dragged around the wheel producing new color combinations. If you drag one of the analogous side colors closer to the central dot, a movement which is mirrored by the other side color, it simplifies the range shown in the palette on the right, whereas dragging them further apart creates a more dynamic and varied combination. This site also identifies colors by their RGB numbers and hexadecimal codes, as well as by their hue, a term which I'm going to get into shortly. And it gives you lighter and darker variations on the original choices. All in all, it's a very useful site indeed, but it doesn't hand you a color combination on a plate, as with a cooler site. It makes you create it yourself.